YouTube, what's up, Cloudy Dripper here, bringing you a new video. Now today, I do not have a mod review, but I do have a review of, let's just say something. But uh, there's a couple things I do want to go over. Now, uh, I did receive a couple comments, and there was one I just read. Um, I didn't, I don't know your name, but you should probably know who you are. Uh, you're asking me something about uh, freedom, uh... Something about freedomsmoke.com. I will check that out after I'm done making this video and rendering it. I got finals to study for. But I will get back to you as soon as I can after I figure out. I'll just have to reread the comment again. Okay. That's one. Uh, two. Um, I would like somebody, or I would like everybody to write down in the comments what would be a device or an RDA that you would like to see a review on. Something, at least I hope it's a little... A little on the cheaper side, just because money just run a little short this week, or just say this month. But uh, I was try my best to see what I do, what I can. And uh, I saw on the news on uh, February, or not February, uh, yesterday, that uh, somebody was using a simple device like this, and they had two batteries, and they left one in their pocket, and it went off like a firecracker. Now, please, everybody who's watching my videos and whoever you know is vaping please just be careful like you know if you have an, a spare battery make sure it's in your pocket with no change in it no keys nothing that like can make contact with it or I know you can get these little plastic uh, cases that kind of look like this there we go. that look like this for batteries so please just you know utilize you know stuff to help you try to maintain and keep yourself safe because I don't want to see any more reports of uh, uh, e-cigarettes blowing up because that just gives them a bad reputation now I also would like to hear in the comments below how do other people around you think about vaping like, I'm just curious because in my family some of my friends they think it's just as worse as smoking and I'm just trying to prove them wrong just uh, write me right in the comments below and just let me know what you guys have been hearing and seeing. All right, that's enough ranting. I think I covered everything. Okay, the comments. I think that's everything. Uh, if I miss anything, just stay tuned to the end of the video. I might have something else. Um, today, since I did the acrylic stand for, uh, I think it was two weeks ago, I picked this up uh, last week when I got my mutation and I've loved this ever since. So I figured I'd show you what I'm going to be reviewing today is the six hole dripper stand. Now I believe that's what it is. But um, I picked this up on eBay for 364 I believe or 394 something like that. Now this is a small little durable little stand that can hold your tanks, your drippers, batteries, and also can hold like other mods like uh, the Ego One, the uh, I Just Two, your Simples. Um, yeah, see, like here's my Simple. See, fits in just like that. See, nice and easy. I'm sorry if that. Uh, I'm sorry if that was loud. <coughs> but yeah, so I picked this up on eBay. It was a fairly reasonable price. Now I like, I love this actually, for three reasons. One, the price. You couldn't beat it. Two, the quality. The quality is very, very good. Like, you could sit there with all these screws in it. You could sit there and try to pull on it. You won't be able to break it. Unless you're, you know, go He-Man on it or something. Or Hulk Hogan. Now, maybe that's a bad example. Who cares? But, um, and then what was the last one? Um, okay, got the price. The durability. And, oh, well. Uh, we'll just say it's two. If I think of the third one, I'll say it. But, uh, yeah, it was super simple to put this together. Yeah, that was probably one of the uh, key points for some people who may not be handy with tools. But uh, this did come pre-assembled, so you do have to assemble it. But all it is is just eight screws, one, four on the bottom and four at the top, and you just have this little square little screw holder that just holds them in between. I mean, it was super easy to put together. It took me, like, 30 seconds. But, uh, so yeah, that's the, that's the six-hole dripper stand that, as I mentioned before, can hold all your drippers, tanks, 
mod, some mods like the Eagle One, I just two, and batteries. Now this product does not, I repeat, does not hold juice. It does not, oh, I, I suppose I take that back. Nope, I do not take that back. Because uh, I was thinking maybe these little juicins. Nope. They do not hold any juice. I've tried and it doesn't work. But you're going to be holding your juice in your hand anyway, so it really won't matter. But uh, here came the uh, instructions. See, I'll try to, see, just right there. See, just one screw, one of uh, the brackets, the middle piece, the other bracket, another screw. They just come together like that. Super simple instruction. I didn't even need these. As soon as I saw it, I already figured out, oh, that's what you got to do. Yes, and I picked up a new juice this week. Uh, it's called, uh, it's a house blend. It's called Scarlet Macaw, which I'm going to be doing a new juice review Sunday on. Right now, I'm just vaping on my strawberry lemur because I picked this up yesterday, and I'm already almost... I'm almost getting to the halfway point, so I gotta maybe slow down on this juice a little bit. It's really good. I just can't stop vaping it right now. Um, and also, please write down in the comments below if you want to see some coil building videos. Like maybe I can get like some Clapton wire and like do different kinds of builds, or like maybe do some macro builds or something like that. Just let me know in the comments below. Like, write in the comments what you want to see. But uh, I also picked up yesterday, right after I got done with a, a concrete job, I went and picked up some 24 gauge uh, canthal wire, because I ran out of my 22 and I go to my local vape shop, they were out of 22, so I picked up 24. No matter. Wire is wire, as long as it works. And then the one thing I do love about the Mutation X, I know this is not part of this review, just the bottom airflow. If uh, if you haven't checked out already, go ahead and check out my Mutation X uh, V4 video. But uh, let's go back. Let's get back into the review and let's finish this up. Um, I rate this a five out of five, just because of the pros that I gave you. I didn't really have no cons, like none of the screws stripped out or anything. It was, it builds itself really really well. The only con, oh, I guess there was one con. They had like this uh, paper like sticker over it. It, it looked like cardboard, but it peels right off. That was just a little bit of challenge. All right, but other than that, I believe that's it. And I love how the screws on the bottom. I'm trying to. You can see you can see the five tens right there. Because of course, when you set it down, it won't move your drippers at all or your tanks. Just nice. But uh, go ahead and check this out on eBay. This is where I picked it up for three sixty four or three ninety four or something like that. I am not completely certain. But just type in a uh, dripper stand. This should come up. And like if you have to, click from like the cheapest to highest price. This one should be one of the first ones you see. But other than that, I think that's it for this week's review. I just wanted to do something really quick. Um, also, just from what I was saying before in the beginning, make sure you're using these devices correctly and safely. Don't use... Oh, wrong one. Okay, don't use a simple with a tank, please, because I had a friend who actually just did something, it was kind of like this, and I almost had to slap him, because this is how you make them explode. Don't put tanks on simples, or don't use any tank on a simple, like if you have a tank, and you have like a specific, I can't talk today, a specific device for it, keep it on that device. But uh, I think that's enough ranting for this week. Um, so just stay tuned for E-Juice Review Sunday, which I might change. Uh, oh yeah, there was one more thing. Um, write down in the comments below if if everyone would like me to maybe start doing more videos more frequently instead of just on Friday and Sunday. Because uh, after spring break, my schedule is going to clear up a little bit where I'll have Monday, Tuesday, and Fridays off. So... Maybe I could start doing videos then too. Like maybe just write down in the comments below if you guys want to see more videos like more frequently. Just let me know. That's all I ask. I'm just trying to provide content for everyone to enjoy. Just let me know in the comments. Leave me the likes. Go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. And yeah, stay tuned. Stay tuned. Stay tuned for E-Juice Review Sunday because we're going to be doing a new flavor. It's a house blend, which I've already mentioned. 
And yeah, I think we're just going to leave it at that. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. I'm sorry if it was a little long and ranty. It won't happen again. And uh, Sorry about that last cutout. My phone uh, hit 20% and it stops my video. But other than that, I think that's all I have for you guys for this week. So stay tuned for G e Juice Review Sunday. And I will see you guys on Sunday. And I hope you guys have a great weekend. And I'll see you guys then. To all you vapors, drippers, and smokers. Keep cloud chasing everyone. And I'll see you guys on Sunday. I lost my car. <laughs>